The future of work as we know it is changing. Some tech companies like Facebook and Twitter gave employees the green light to work from home forever. So what does this mean for the overall shift in the workplace? Joining me now is Kraftwerk founder Jim Hyde. Jim, thanks for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity to share what we're learning. And can you tell me a little about Kraftwerk and the surge of tech employees you're now seeing? Yeah, well, Kraftwerk, you know, started uh, 60 days before the uh, pandemic was really um, put into or kind of came into place. And uh, we started under the notion that there would be people from the larger cities that would want to come to small towns like Healdsburg uh, for a vacation or come up here and work. We didn't really anticipate that it would be a permanent shift. But with the, uh, the stay in or shelter in place requirements that were put in place in March. And now, as you mentioned, a number of the tech companies giving their employees the opportunity to work remotely. We're seeing a number of the bigger tech companies and their individuals coming up here because they're figuring, hey, I can work for anywhere I want. And what better place than a small wine country town uh, north of the Bay Area? I can get to the city in a day if I need to, but I can spend my days up here working in a really great town. And now that many people are working from home for an extended period of time, do you think this will lead to an overall shift in the workforce and how workspaces are used? Yeah, I think the, you know, the anecdotal information we're hearing is that where a lot of companies were nervous about work from home and whether it would reduce productivity, that their, you know, their employers are actually finding that it increases productivity and uh, creates happier employees. Uh, on the flip side, though, I think a, pe a lot of people are finding that it's hard to work from home specifically. What we hear a lot are too many distractions. You know, there's that load of laundry I can throw in or the dogs bark or the kids are running around. So they realize they can work remotely, but maybe not always from home. So I do think um, that this changing workplace uh, and what we're doing in kind of what we call a club working model as opposed to a co-working model is really kind of at the vanguard of some new ways and, and new shifts the way people are thinking about employment and their daily lives. And you talked about those shifts. What about a shift in lifestyle since many people don't have to commute for work at the moment? You know, they're ditching their cars. Do you think this will drive more people to move to areas like, say, Sonoma County? Yeah, I mean, it, it, one would think that that's a logical outcome. You know, how big a number that is, I don't know. But when you've got great towns like some of the small towns in Sonoma County that have all of the sophistication of the city in terms of great food, great wine, great recreation opportunities, but you don't have some of the problems that you have in the bigger cities, and you can walk to wherever you want. Uh, you don't have to drive. You don't have to deal with parking. You don't have to deal with transit. But, now people are saying, well, yeah, I, why, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I live in a place like this? And again, because you're so close to the city, if you do need to go to the museum or you want to go to a show, it's an hour's drive away. So it seems like the best of all worlds. And this is kind of the perfect opportunity. How is it for you to provide this space for folks? Well, I got to tell you, it was a bit of a nail biter when uh, we, like I said, we opened 60 days before all of this kind of unfolded. And that's a new business and it's a startup. Uh, I was riding the entrepreneurial wave wondering, you know, what was going to happen. But we were really surprised at how much both local people said, hey, we want to make sure you come out of this. And then more importantly, people that were moving uh, up here for a short time, they were sheltering in place. They had second homes, so they came here for the city to shelter in place, and then found that they could really work well from here. So it, you know, it feels good that we have the support of the community, and it feels even better that we've been able to create a, a really productive workspace for people to try out this whole new, you know, working remotely thing in a high quality of life community. All right, Jim Hyde, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.